You know, I know that's just a song. I don't know who wrote it. And you know, I know this is just a book. And I really don't know who wrote this book. I don't know who put down the words. I believe Brother Jason may have said something like this or that, but I know it. Uh, to inspire the old brothers, the writers of this book, only can come from God. Sure. That's like uh, being standing here. I know this is holy ground. I was telling Brother Josh there, he said, Why don't you preach like uh, what you did last night? I said, I can't. don't remember what I preached last night. But you know, I know whenever Moses was standing before the burning bush, and the bush was burning, but it can, the fire consumed the bush not. The Lord said, get your shoes off, Moses, you're on holy ground. And I consider this to be holy ground. And when I was in high school, I almost failed American history because I couldn't get up before the class and say the Gettysburg Address. So if it wasn't the Lord to revelate my mind, I couldn't I couldn't be here to represent Him. And I promised the Lord I knew there was something, a big space in my heart I needed to fill, and I didn't know what I needed. But I, I, I promised the Lord, Lord, if you'll save my soul, I'll serve you any way that I can. And, and you know what I was talking about? Running the vacuum cleaner in the church, cutting the grass outside. But 13 months and 16 days after I accepted the Lord in my heart, He said, I'll stand at the door and knock, and if you'll open up, I'll, I'll be in self for you and yourself for me. And, and church, you know, I know in my heart today the door knocks their hearts on the inside because Jesus said, I'll stand at the door and knock. If you will open up, then I'll come in. Now I know the Lord had the fire. He's got the fire to kick the door down if He wants to. But that's not His way. He, his son died. Had to be a supreme sacrifice. Nobody was good enough. Even the heaven, the earth, the underneath the earth. But the Son, Jesus Christ, He was the only one that was sin free. And, and the Bible don't exactly say this, but you know it says preach that with common kind of sound doctrine, and I believe. Uh, that the Son, Jesus Christ. Now, Brother Darrell, how do I, what makes me believe that Jesus was up there with the Lord in the very beginning, in the very first chapter of Genesis, I believe, maybe it was the second or third, but I believe maybe the first, uh, but said, let us, the Lord said, let us make man in our own image. Now, who was he talking to? Had to be talking to the Son, Jesus Christ. So that's how that we become, we come about and Hey, but you know, uh, as this song said, I, I think it's very fitting for today. Uh, there's trouble on every hand, and and me and Brother Clyde Bartley, that before he left there, we was talking. I believe it was me and him, and and you know, I said, Brother Clyde, there is no peace anymore except in the church when we're around the church, brothers yeah. and sisters, and and you know that because of God is love, that's what God is, and whenever He comes into our heart, He takes out the heart of stone and He puts in a, guard, a heart of love and. I know in the 14th chapter of Job, I believe it's the first verse, it says, Man that is born of woman is but few days and full of trouble. Oh, right. let's, now let's look at that word uh, a days. We know that, you know, that makes us sound like, but that scripture that uh, but few days, it's just two or three days. But you know, let's go a little bit deeper in the book. And the book says uh, that one day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years is like one day with the Lord. Uh, so if it seems like, you know, I'm saved, I'll soon be 71 years old and I've been down the road, uh, many rolling around a many curves in my lifetime. I mean, I had a great time out there in the world, but let's go back to the Scriptures again. Uh, there's pleasure in sin, but only for a little season. It's not going to last. And you might go out there tonight and, and go to a honky-tonk joint and have a big-eyed time, but now in the morning your bubble's going to bust. Uh, that honky-tonk time is over with. Uh, but you see, the book says, and what book am I talking about? I'm talking about the one that says B I B L E. You know what that stands for? Basic instructions before leaving earth. This is your basic instruction. This is a roadmap on how to get to heaven. And every question that we've got, the answer is right in the book. And and you know, the Lord says uh, in the book that we'll go back to it again. And I don't want somebody to ask me a question about the Bible. I don't like to tell them. I like to be able to read it to them or tell them where it is and we'll read it together because, uh, Brother Darrell, I don't want them to say Fred said because Fred may be wrong. And don't put your trust in me because I'm man. Man will lead you astray. Uh, you know, the Bible refers to that 
I both will fall in the ditch if we're trying to do it ourselves, but it's either God's way or it's no way. And, right. and you know, I love what I'm here, Brother Darrell, Brother Cullen, you're talking about, and, uh, you know, the, the man's way, all the trouble and these sensations. And, and, but you know, uh, I, something if you really want to get under my skin, uh, come and tell me about the, the old brother's way, the old traditional way of the ways of the old brother. I don't care what Grandma said. I don't care what Grandpa said. I care what the Lord said. The Lord said, I'm the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. I change the top. Uh, but children, uh, we, we will change our mind as men and women. Uh, we change our mind. And, uh, but you know, uh, I think of that scripture a whole lot. But uh, a man that is born a woman in a few days and full of troubles, and we're seeing that each and every day. How many of you come here this morning with a lot of things on your heart? And, and you know that uh, with the only place that you can feel peace in your heart, why can you feel it among God's people? Because God's people, if we are what we say, we are. Uh, we've got salvation of God uh, right down in the depth of our heart, children. Uh, salvation is of the Lord. And uh, so many times we hear the uh, people say, oh, I'm a Christian. I've got my name on the church book. Uh, that's not important or, uh, when it comes right down to the price tag, but I'm proud to have my name on the United Baptist Church and, and I'm proud to be associated with this association here. But uh, children, I'm happy today uh, because my name is inscribed in the Lamb's Book of Life and the Blood of the Lamb. Uh, why am I so happy? Because I know that I'm on my way to heaven. And you might say, well, preacher, how do you know you're on your way? Uh, by he that lived in me is mightier than he that lived in the world. Of the Holy Spirit of God and of that lived right down in the depth of my heart. And, and you know, I, about a year ago, I was going down through Lexington one night after dark, and, and this sister, she's my dentist down there in Winchester, and, and she called me up on the phone, and, and she wanted to know how I was doing. I said, I'm happy. I'm, I'm, I'm doing real well. I'm happy. And I said, Sis, how are you doing? I was surprised. Uh, I didn't know that she was, you know, why she was calling, and uh, but she she said, I'm not doing very well. I said, why? Uh, she said, I'm not happy. I, I just don't have the, the happiness I used to have. But, uh, you know, we need to ask God to uh, restore the joy of our salvation. Yeah, uh, because, you know, a lot of times uh, we see it when somebody, uh, when they first get the Lord in their life, they're, uh, they're on par for the Lord and uh, they're wanting to save everybody in the world. But uh, children in a little while, uh, the far dies down. They kind of go to the wayside and a lot of times and I couldn't understand that. But, uh, you know, I, another thing I couldn't understand and uh, when I had been a Christian 13 months and 16 days, I was on a train coming out of the state of Virginia into the state of Kentucky and, and Brother John was about 500 feet in underground and it was at 6.30 on a Sunday morning or Monday morning and, and you know, the Lord called me to preach. I couldn't understand that. I said, but Lord, uh, you know I can't do this. But, uh, you know, I didn't know the power of God then. Uh, but I know that God can yes, make sir. the ass to talk. He can make the ass to speak to him. But, uh, you know, I didn't really understand. But, uh, you know, I knew that I would have made a, a vow to the Lord. And that's look what the Lord said about a vow. And it's better to not make a vow if we're not going to keep it, brother.
but everybody that's up here is not a preacher of the Lord. Oh, Satan has got his worker right here. Oh, Satan has got his, his seed. He's got his self a seed right in the church house. And, and you know, I used to think, well, old Satan down in, in Lexington in the hockey dog. He's down there in the bar. But I tell her, why would he be down there? He's got them people there. He don't need to be there. He's right here in the Bible. You know, the Lord asked old Satan, oh, where are you been? Uh, where you been today? I've been going up and down the earth uh, devouring every soul that I can. And, and you know, and, and we hear people say, well, uh, Brother Darrell, uh, old Satan been around my back all day today. Uh, brother, I'll tell you, it's very easy uh, to get old Satan off your back. Uh, get behind me, Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, and he's got to go. But now, uh, brothers and sisters, I'll tell you, there's another way of looking at that. And when he went out there, he sold into some of it. He landed over the thorny bushes. And some of it, you know, as soon as it was sold, it, the fowl of the air come. And they devoured it up. They eat that seed. But some landed on a rock. Now I want you to listen to what I'm saying. The Bible said it landed on a rock. And you know what?
I love the natural food. I love the spiritual food. I kill her his soul. His soul does good. I'll eat off that all week this week. Every time I think about it, I'll just read to get a little bit out of her. I know I'll not get hungry, but I want to tell you, you know, whenever, when Jesus got through talking, he just said, I just explained to her what you mean, the soul of the sea. He said, I speak in parables so you will understand but them that are without I talk about the one in the lost and dying world out there the one that served with Satan the one that loved darkness a better than light a children they don't understand you know there's one place he said you that have your to hear that you hear what the spirit says to the churches to you that understand will I give to thee the hidden man a children of spiritual side a God written word and now maybe some of you won't agree with me on this but I don't I say this is not the word this is the written word of God the word brother is Jesus Christ he was with the Lord in the beginning and still is where is he at today brother Jack he's sitting on the right hand of God waiting on the Father to say go get my children go get them and bring them home and then Jesus Christ will be on the move. Everybody, Jesus told him. He said, them that are without, that they see, they might not see. And hearing, they may not understand. And you know, if we don't have, you see there, there's God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Children, they are three. Yet they are one. And you cannot have one without having all three. And now that's back to many thousand years ago John the Baptist he was in the river of Jordan he was our baptizing he left down a path and he said all the men coming behold the Lamb of God that take us away of the sins of the world but you know he told all the people the great multitude before he saw this man coming he said I'll baptize you with the water there'll be one come after me from the back of the middle. The white church has a greasy degree. A free will Baptist church. The same one that knocked on the heart door. The same one that spoke to me. And I